County And I drive the main road Searching in the sun for a Alright boys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a day in the life or a morning in the life of a 20 year old living in Brazil as a hybrid athlete. So you guys know that I train for running and bodybuilding at the same time. However, today is a special day boys because y'all know that I normally wake up and run first thing in the morning. It's the first part of my morning routine. But today is going to be a bit different because we're still running. It's Sunday. Day. However, we're running with a couple of guys because I'm hosting my first ever meetup. Lorenzo's Run Club, baby. Let's go. And yeah, we're just going to vibe. It's going to be awesome. I'm very excited. So let's freaking get it, boys. It's a routine here in this channel. First thing you do in the morning, you get up and you move. For me, it's always a run. I like to see it as my warm up for the day because after that, everything is easy in the day. But today is just going to be a chill day. We're going to do some running afterwards. I think I'm going to go to the sauna with a friend of mine. He's got like a very OG sauna. I'm very excited to try it out. Sundays are normally my active recovery days that's why i'm not doing that much so yeah part one of the day about to go down now let's get our nutrition right and go for the run boys it's gonna be a beautiful day and i need you more than won't you and i want you okay so for breakfast pre-run we're just having a whole bunch of carbs. Uh, my diet in terms of that is not changing a lot. So I'm just eating some banana, some honey, uh, some granola, and a little bit of protein. The only thing that I changed in my diet is that, that I'm also consuming a carb supplement. This is usually what I take if I'm going out for a shorter run. But since today, like I'm gonna film, I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff. I'm also eating a bit more than I usually do for like very short runs because we're just running 5k. It's like almost nothing. And then we're also taking a bit of coffee because Brazil, man, Brazil has the best coffee in the world. You can say all you want, but it does. It's the best coffee in the world. Uh, look at this, man. Oh my God. This is one of my everyday joys right here. You gotta have some stuff that you enjoy in this whole process th so that it's sustainable for you. Cause imagine if you hated your morning routine, imagine you hated everything you did like to prepare for your run. Having something to look forward to, like having a good coffee before going out for a run is something that makes the run more enjoyable because you look forward to having that coffee before you run and then you start assimilating your runs with a good thing and it tricks your brain to think that you actually enjoy it and i also enjoy my runs okay or maybe i don't maybe i just enjoy the coffee before it what's up bro I'm taking a little dog with me today. <laughs> I told people that they could bring their dogs, so I'm bringing my little doggy. She's not even a dog, she's like a rat. Oh, <laughs> she didn't like my comment. Alright boys, so we're here at the park. Look at all the people that showed up, man. I was like, not gonna lie, I was a bit worried. I thought no one was gonna come, man. But honestly, just being able like to bring one person here, it's already an achievement to take them out on a freaking Sunday morning, boys, at 7 a.m. 
that's fucking great to see, man. Getting out to the real world, not just staying on social media, because you know, it's easy to make videos on social media and people just consume it like for dopamine. But these people actually came out here and are ready to get a run in at 7 a.m., boys. We're freaking excited. We're gonna start stretching in a bit. and It's gonna be freaking awesome, man. Let's fucking get it, boys. All right, boys, so we're, we're out here with the freaking gang. It's gonna be freaking awesome, I'm excited. I think it's just a victory for having at least one person having come out here and having like people that actually come here on a Sunday morning, like get out of social media, get in the real world. I think that's very important. And the fact that people came here and are with other people, I think this, if I had a group of people like this when I first started running, I think I would have enjoyed running so much more. And I know the power that this has. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with the people around here. We're gonna start five kilometers. It's gonna be easy pace, complete 76 kilometers on the week. Let's freaking get it, boys. Let's get it, boys! Woo! Okay, boys, we're at 1.5K, 3.5K to go. Still just at the start. We're gonna go faster, boys. Get into the ones that are behind to give them a heads up. To say, go, go faster, boys. These kids are going hard, boys. Holy shit. <laughs> These people already finished, boys. Let's go. Alright boys, so we're now here, I'm gonna eat something post run, but man, it was a freaking success, man. A lot of people came, more than I expected it. It's like I said in the beginning, man, like, uh, the important part of this is that I managed to get people out of social media to come in the real world and to run and have some fun and hopefully I can inspire someone to also come run together here in the park another day as well. Look at the guys behind me. <laughs> Warriors. <laughs> this is my brother, if you cannot tell. Stay away from drugs and vape. <laughs> Never vape, kids. Sober is doper. Sober is doper. Yeah. You see, I'm teaching this kid right, man. What did you eat today for breakfast? Water. Water? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping he said like five eggs, a little bit of carbs, some supplements. No. Yeah. So part number one of the day completed. Movement, early morning movement. It was great seeing everyone here. And now we fuel up. First you hunt and then you eat your fucking prey, boys. We just hunted this fucking coconut water and now we drink it, man. We hunted, we ran, and then we eat. Like lions in the savannah, they fucking hunt and then they eat. Sometimes they even hunt and eat at the same time. So that would be equivalent to taking a running gel, I guess. What the my saying man now it's time to fuel up so we drink a little nature's electrolyte which is coconut water i freaking love taking this after every single run yeah delicious man now let's move on to the next part of the day i think we're gonna do some sauna Oh, world be 
become one of salads and sun. Only a fool would say that. A boy with a plan. Okay, so after the run club, we ended up going to my buddy Martin's place uh, to do some sauna. He has like this barrel sauna. It's called a Sisu sauna. It's like this different kind of sauna that is really cool to do. And for you that are new here in the channel that don't know, uh, this day was actually a Sunday and every Sunday it's a tradition to make it a slow Sunday. It's all about taking it slow. So what I do on Sundays, it's I always have like this active recovery day and I plan out my rest day for always on Sunday to take it slower to wake up um, a bit later than usual to fall off my routine but to primarily do the things that I want to do and the biggest takeaway I got from this run club was the power that the environment has to influence people and this came apparent to me by the fact that every single person that participated in the run club actually completed five kilometers not a single person didn't complete this distance because like when I marketed this run club I said look we're gonna run five kilometers around the park but once we got there I knew that some people had never ran 5k in their lives like I knew like each one had a running level so I told everyone look 5k is only a metric but if somehow you cannot complete five kilometers if you have to walk or if you run less it's not a problem the idea is for us just to run together socialize while we have fun and stay healthy but what turned out to be is that every single person completed five kilometers this was a crazy experience to see because like my brother had never ran 5k in his life and and he ran his five kilometers and even ran a bit more like he did two more laps completing seven kilometers and I kept thinking back to when I started running where it's like it was lonely it was just me by myself forcing myself to like running and eventually I started liking running but I thought to myself if I had this type of environment where everyone was pushing everyone where everyone was having fun while running then maybe I would have learned to enjoy running sooner because what happens is when you run with other people, when you socialize, when you're running, you associate that hard activity such as running with something that is good, like socializing, having fun, talking to people. And so you don't view it as something boring, something lonely. This changes your whole view that you have towards running. And I realized how unconsciously I myself do that too. Like you are seeing here right now on the screen, I'm drinking a cold beer in the sauna after the five k run and after almost every single run i reward myself with something that i enjoy like a cold coconut water a cold beer and by doing that what i'm doing essentially is i'm associating something hard such as running with something that I enjoy, such as drinking a cold coconut water. And so I start tricking my brain into thinking that running in itself is enjoyable. Because after when I complete a run, I do something that is enjoyable. So the act of running itself is associated with something that is enjoyable. And so running is associated with something that is enjoyable, which in turn tricks my brain into thinking that the act of running itself is something enjoyable. And that essentially is what we're doing on a run club. We're associating running with something good. We're associating something that is hard to do, such as running with something that is enjoyable. So if I could give you guys an advice in this video is to put yourself in an environment that reinforces positive behavior. So instead of like putting yourself in an environment where for you to socialize and meet people, you need to do drugs or drink alcohol. Put yourself in an environment where to socialize and meet people. You get healthy together, you run together, you go to the gym together. So I repeat, put yourself in an environment that reinforces positive behavior. And to finish off this video with Lorenzo's tune of the day, give up on your shitty music. So part of what I want to do in this channel is to also culturally educate you guys to stop listening to some shitty music, stop listening to fucking Drake and actually listening to delicate music. So instead of listening to music as a form for you to get cheap dopamine and disregarding every aspect of art that music has, I want to influence you guys to listen to good music. And today's Lorenzo's tune of the day is going to be 
Proud Mary by Credence Clearwater Revival. It's a classic song and the reason that I chose this song for this video is because when I was marketing the Ron Club, I actually used this song as like the theme song for the Ron Club and even during the Ron Club I created a playlist where people could add whatever songs they liked and I put on this playlist Proud Mary from Creedence Clearwater Revival and I brought the speaker, a speaker to the Ron Club and put it on the car so that when we were running the car was following us with a speaker on it where we could listen to music while we ran and one of those songs was Proud Mary by Creedence Clearwater Revival it just has this blues rock, this country rock sound to it, which was the vibe that I was trying to bring to this Ron Club. So it was the soundtrack to the Ron Club. Go give it a listen, it's a banger. And as always, see you guys on the next video. We got so many things planned out. I'm very excited for the content that is about to come. Like, subscribe this video. Thanks to everyone that came to the Ron Club. And let's freaking get it, boys. See y'all in the next one.